Hi everybody, this is Kayla from Kayla Crochet Love and today I just wanted to show you how I made my uh, January square. It's a really easy one here. It's just a modern granny square and it measures 12 by 12. I don't know if I can back it up a little bit more. There we go. So. Um, if you are wanting to, you can join me on my square month that I'm going to do. I know January is late, but better late than never. Um, so I invite you to use your stash if you would like, or you can purchase new yarn. It's up to you. Um, but use colors that remind you of that month. So I went with this color because it reminded me of ice and snow. Being in Canada, we have lots of that. So I will show you how to make this simple granny square and mine I used uh, Barcelona Dulce it is a bulky yarn um, and I'm using a five millimeter crochet hook you can use any weight yarn you want um, I'm actually going to be using different sizes um, while I go because I will be trying to use up as much of my stash as I can so totally up to you what you would like to use. So I'm going to start with a magic circle. Now if you prefer you can um, do like a chain of four and slip stitch to the first chain but I like doing the magic circle. So you do the magic circle and then you're going to chain up three and the chain three counts as one double crochet and then you're going to do two more double crochets right into that ring okay you're going to chain one put three double crochets into the ring there's one two three chain one Again, three double crochets into the ring. One, two, three. So you have three sets and you need one more. So you're going to chain one again and work another three double crochets into the ring. some of my yarn out here. Oops. Okay, so there's three. You're going to chain one again and then you're going to pull this tight. So like that. And then you're going to want to slip stitch to the top of your chain three. So you have a little piece like this. You can see your chain spaces there. And then what you want to do is slip stitch over into the chain one space. Um, so just slip stitch over to that space. Don't do work into the space yet. Because once you get to the space, you're going to put one single crochet. Okay. Then you're going to chain three and put a single crochet into the same space so you have a little loop like that then you're going to chain three again and you're going to skip over to the next chain space here and you're going to put a single crochet and again chain three and put one single crochet in the same space. So you have three little holes here now. Kind of look like little ears. And you're going to do your chain three again. And skip all this and work one single crochet into the chain one space. Chain up three. and then put 
another single crochet into that space there. You're going to do that one more time. Chain three, single crochet into chain one space, chain three, single crochet in the same space. So now you got to here and all you have to do now is chain three and you're going to slip stitch to the single crochet here that you put into the chain one space. like that. So that forms your spaces that you are going to work in this round. So I want you to slip stitch right into that chain three space there and chain up three. Oh, my yarn fell on the floor. That's okay. <laughs> and then in the same space you're going to work two more double crochets. Oops. chain one and then two more double crochets. So you're going to be doing that in your corners. So you need three there. So it'll be three double crochets. That's including your chain three, chain one, and three double crochets. So you're going when you go into the next space here, you're just going to keep working. So you're not going to chain here. You're just going to go right in and do three double crochets. One, two, I need more yarn. <laughs> and three. So it's like that. And then you're going to work right into your corner space here. <clears throat> so you put three double crochets. Chain one. And three double crochets into the same space. So we'll do that one more time. So now that you're done with your corner, you're just going to put three double crochets in this space here. Go into your corner space here and put three double crochets. Chain one and three double crochets. Okay, so you're just going to do that for the rest of your square here and I'll meet you back over here. Okay, once you've made it back around, I just did my three double crochets in the last space here. You're going to slip stitch to the top of your train three from the beginning of this round. Just like that, so you can see your square starting to take shape. Now what you want to do is slip stitch over to your chain one space over here. And this is where we will be, we'll be making our chain spaces again. So slip stitch. So once you get to the chain one space, remember you're going to single crochet into that. Then chain three. And single crochet into the same space. Now here, just remember you're going to be, wherever you see a little space, that's where you're going to be working. So you're going to chain three. Go over to your next little space, which is right here, and single crochet, chain three. Go over to your next space, right there, single crochet, chain three. And now we should be working into the corner right here. Single crochet. So chain three, we'll do this one more time. Chain three, single crochet the same stitch or same space chain three go over to your next space which you might need to pull it apart a little bit so if you pull like this you can see your space forming right here and single crochet chain three 
over to your next space and single crochet and then you're going to start working into your corner again so chain three and do your one double crochet chain three and one double crochet in or sorry one single crochet in the same space so you're going to do that all the way around and I'll meet you back here so I'm just about to do my last chain three. So I worked in this space. I'm going to do my last chain three and we're going to slip stitch to that first single crochet here. And then we're going to slip stitch into the chain three space and then chain three. And this is where we're going to work um, our clusters here. So remember the corners you chain three <clears throat> for the first one. Put two more double crochets. So there's three double crochets. Chain one and put three more double crochets in the same space. And then you're just going to keep going, working three double crochets in each of the next three chain spaces here. So there's three. Oops. Three. And three. Then you're going to work three double crochets in your corner space. So one, two, three, chain one, and put three more double crochets in the same space. So you're going to repeat that all the way around. So that's just the repeat pattern. So you do one round of your cluster kind of things here and then you do one round of your chaining and then you do your, your double crochets and then your chain. So you just keep going like that around until you get the size square you would like. You don't have to do a 12 by 12. I'm just going to move my camera back here. But I thought that was a good size, especially if I'm going to have 12 squares. I don't want it to be a giant blanket, but so it should measure. Just try and hold my camera up. So it's just about 12 inches. And it'll be 12 inches that way as well. If you want to make bigger squares, go for it. If you want to make smaller squares, that's great too. Whatever works for you. So yeah, I hope... You guys will join me on this if you would like and I will come out soon with February Square. Um, I just want to take a minute to please ask you to subscribe to my channel and don't forget you can find me on Instagram, um, Facebook and Ravelry all at Cro Kale Crochet Love. I will link that all down below. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.